Welcome to another Cooking with Chris. This is a member shout out for Phoenix Tina. Thanks for being a member. We're making some ghostly donut waffles today. Let's get started. Okay, guys, for this recipe, you're going to need one and one fourth cup self rising flour and two thirds of a cup of applesauce. I used its sweetened applesauce. And I added a little cinnamon and a drop of vanilla, but you don't have to do any of that. And you can use unsweetened applesauce and roll it in like honey so that it's good for diabetics. You can fry this or you could put it in the air fryer or you could do what we're about to do. Now you got your applesauce and your self-rising flour. Mix it up. This dough is pretty sticky. Now you have a few choices on how to make this. I normally make it in the air fryer, A, to not waste so much oil, B, to not have fried food. So you can ball this up and put them in the air fryer and I'd say about six minutes or until they're like brown. Or you can fry them in oil, about an inch of oil and fry it. Today I want to try to put it in the waffle maker. Don't laugh. Let's see if this works have my waffle maker heating up look how cute ghosties okay our light turned off so it should be all ready i don't know if this is gonna work guys but let's see um let's see if this is going to work i don't know i don't even know how big to make them in here because i never tried this but we're just gonna do that yep okay Let's see if this works. Okay, so it's working. I'm going to put it maybe a few more seconds. <laughs> and then we're going to have ghosty donuts. Ghosty waffle donuts. Ah, this is going to be so fun. Unfortunately, this is only a one-man recipe. If we make another batch, yeah, then we can have more. So... Yeah, I'd probably make two batches if I'm going to put it in here. If I'm going to make little donut holes, this is the perfect size because you'd probably get around, you know, I don't know, 10. But in here, you're getting less. So, yeah, but I'm sure it's ready. And it's a ghosty. Okay, let's try another one. This is so much fun. Okay, not as much I don't think we need. I don't know how much I put last time. But it does, um, it's self-rising flour, guys, so it does rise. So let's see. I don't know. I'm just using this scooper. <laughs> that's what I got. Uh, I guess it's like an ice cream scooper. So, yeah, that's what I'm using. Guys, this is working swimmingly. You don't get a full ghosty, but you get a ghosty and you get a waffle. And so now you have waffle donuts and they're yum. I tasted the other one just to make sure they were cooked and they were. And then I'm just putting my... Ready? blackberry pancake syrup on there and it is so yum now i know what you're gonna ask me guys where did i get this super cute little thing target it was ten dollars during halloween um and they have snowflakes and they have every holiday they have these when i got this one it was ten dollars how much they are now i don't know but they can't be too much more especially probably if you get it after the season um or the holiday would be cheaper. It takes a good few minutes, about four minutes for them to be ready in here, four to five minutes, depending <clears throat> how much you put. But they really do come out adorable. They are cooked. I tried one. <laughs> so we're super happy about this. I'm going to go make more, and we'll see you on the next adventure.
big shout out again to all our members and to all you guys watching. Thanks for watching. And if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing.